begin the inflow seal installation process, remove the cover and place it onto a turntable. Clear away any large debris from the frame seat and any overhanging grass that may be around the manhole. To prep the manhole for the inflow seal, use a high-speed die grinder equipped with an abrasive wire wheel to clean any rust and debris from the sides of the frame and cover. This will allow your grinding stones to clean the metal easier later. Next, place the frame measurement tool within the frame. Measure from bolt to bolt and record the diameter measurements at the top and bottom of the frame, following instructions provided on the worksheet. Next, install the cover measurement tool onto the manhole cover. Measure the distance between the bolts and record it on the worksheet. Do this for the bottom and top sides of the cover. In order for a good bond to form, bare metal must be present on the frame. Using a die grinder with a grinding stone equipped, grind the frame until bare metal can be seen. Grind any imperfections from the cover to allow for easier installation. Finish with a final pass over with the abrasive wire wheel for both the frame and cover. By running your finger over the frame wall and the sides of the cover, test to make sure all imperfections have been removed. Using an angle grinder equipped with a stone cup, bevel a small 45 degree edge on the bottom of the cover. This will help prevent the cover from sliding the seal down during the first reinstallation of the cover. Using the frame diameter obtained from the frame measurement tool, determine the length of seal needed and cut to length. To ensure that the rubber bonds well with the frame, use a wire brush to score the back side of the rubber. Be sure to clean the back side of the rubber with a rag and acetone to ensure that the adhesive will bond with it. Also clean the frame wall with a rag and acetone to ensure a good bond can be made with the adhesive in the metal frame. Using a caulk gun, carefully apply a bead of adhesive around the wall of the frame. Additional beads and larger beads can be used if a large gap is present between the frame and cover. Using a small brush, spread the adhesive along the frame wall. Make sure the adhesive covers 3 quarters of an inch up from the frame seat so that the entire backside of the rubber will adhere.
carefully place the rubber seal along the wall of the frame. Once fully placed, use a small roller to work the seal into the adhesive and remove any air bubbles trapped behind the rubber. Cut any excess length of seal and create a butt joint where the two ends meet. Wipe off any adhesive that may have gotten onto the front of the seal and any excess adhesive from the frame wall using a rag and acetone. This will be to make sure that the seal does not bond to the cover. Before the cover can be reinstalled, a layer of grease needs to be applied to the front side of the rubber. To do this, use a grease gun to apply a large bead around the frame. Then spread the grease evenly over the rubber using a simple scraper. For best results, allow the seal to cure for up to one hour before reinstalling the cover. To begin reinstalling the cover, first set up a tripod above the manhole. Attach the cover to the tripod using a large magnet and wench. Slowly lower the cover into the frame keeping the cover centered. Remove the magnet and allow the cover to sit for a full day before removing. This will allow the seal to fully cure. Afterwards, the cover can be removed and replaced normally without the use of a tripod. For more information, visit us on the web at www.inflowseal.com or call us at 800-490-5325.